Now we're just going to do two light coats. I guess I should put it the right direction. Don't get your fingers smashed. All right. Passenger side head. Oh, hey. Those of you in quarantine need a workout, I recommend three sets of 12. Hey, welcome back, Bass Monty's Garage, part 12 of our rebuild. Whew, if you're new here, hey, check it out. This is how we got here. Fractured a, a lifter, blew apart in the motor, had to take the motor out of the car, clean all that shrapnel out of the engine, and uh, now we're rebuilding it. During along the way, we were able to paint some more parts. Looks pretty cool, and today, we're putting the heads on. It's very simple, but there are a couple things you have to keep in mind when you're going through the process. So sit back, enjoy, take some notes. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Hit that thumbs up button for me if you like it, and we'll go from there. So to get started, what you're going to need are obviously your heads, your head bolt kit. Um, if you have aftermarket heads, you probably have instructions from like Edelbrock or, or whatever, and I have those. I can walk you through that. You're going to need a new gasket. This is a metal gasket from Butler Performance with the original stamping from the factory, so they're really nice. You're also going to need spray-on gasket. It's called the Copper spray Gasket. So we're going to use this today. And we're going to go through um, some cleaning because uh, for when we when we go and put our heads on, this needs to be oil free. And I like to use the same wax and degreaser I use for auto body painting. And you know, went through that when we painted the block and everything. The same cleaner takes is really good at taking oil off. You do not want oil on this surface, and you do not want oil on the bottom of your head. So, let's get to it. I'm going to clean up the surfaces, and we're going to go ahead and um, show you what you have to do with the fasteners and, and what we have to do to this surface. So, here we go. All right, guys. So, this is what we're dealing with here. So, we have the gasket actually goes metal side down on the block, and then the soft side goes against the head. So, like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and degrease this whole bottom surface. Because just like painting, we want the gasket to stick to it. And if we have any oil on it, it's not going to stick. So I'm just going to do this process until it's totally clean. Alright, my head is pretty clean. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the metal surface of the gasket because we are basically going to paint it with the copper gasket material. All right, we're good there. So back at the block, uh, something to note, if you got your block from the machinist, you might not have these dowel pins in it. So there are four dowel pins, two on each side. That's what lines up the heads. So make sure you have these dowel pins that they exist. You cannot do this without those dowel pins. I'm going to do the same thing to this surface. We want to make sure there's no oil on it. This is the mating surface to the copper portion of the, that we're going to spray on the gasket. By the way, I would not use brake cleaner because you do not want to take the paint off this beautiful paint we put down. So this is why I still love the auto body degreaser. All right guys, I set up a little paint booth. It's just an empty box in my garage. You know how much I love paint booths. So um, I'm putting my, my gasket down. Now we're just gonna do two light coats. And the light and the coats, they dry pretty quickly. You can probably wait a minute but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. As soon as the second coat tacks, we're going to put it on the block. All 
All right, let's move the block a bit. Better angle at things. There's our gasket, see a nice little coating of copper on it. Metal side down. Guess I should put it the right direction. Right over the dowel pins. Like that. Let me take our head and we be real careful. We need to line up those dowel pins. Don't get your fingers smashed. All right, looks like we're on, just like that. So let's go back to the workbench. That was discuss uh, what we need got to do for our, for our bolts. All right, team. So I have ARP bolts, and what you do, if you look at them on the washer, there's like a little bevel inside there. That actually goes against the shoulder of the screw of the bolt right in there. So. It goes in that orientation and you want to make sure there's you put assembly lube in there so this is ARP's assembly lubricant and it goes right underneath the head on the washer and then you also do the threads if you're using uh, stock bolts you actually use engine oil so just use engine oil here and on the bolt threads so I went ahead and did all my bolts already so I'll meet you back at the head. All right guys, so we have our bolts in. They are finger tight, and I'm doing this upside down so you can see it right side up. But we're gonna torque these in a particular sequence, starting with our middle one uh, top. You work from top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the order you torque it. You have to think about it inside out, top to bottom. We're gonna do it in three stages. First one is 60 pound feet, then 80 pound feet, and then 105, okay? So here we go. like that. So two more rounds. Next round 80, then 105, and then we're done. Okay, last round, 105. This is probably going to be a workout, so we'll find out. have it that's how you put your head on so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and uh, I'll see you when I'm done all right passenger side head oh hey those of you in quarantine need a workout just grab one of your heads I recommend three sets of 12 Heads are on. We're getting somewhere. So that concludes episode 12. Oh, before I forget, those of you that still have stock heads or um, have just one cooling nipple, this is where it goes on the passenger side. I have two, and I will cover that later in a different episode of what I did there for a cooling trick. So stay tuned for that one. But again, this concludes episode 12. Everything went seamless. I hope you learned something, especially with how to clean your gaskets before you put them on and those head surfaces. Uh, so for break-in, we retorque after our first heat cycle, all those head bolts, and then after I change in the, the break-in oil, which is after 100 miles, and then I'll retorque them again. Whew! This is getting fun. 
So thanks for hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't. And you know the drill. Build them fast. Drive them faster. See ya.